Hello and welcome back to Introduction to Digital Political Campaigning. This week, uh, week 10, uh, we're going to be discussing uh, online fundraising, the latest wrinkles in online fundraising, uh, and where it's at vis-a-vis -vis, uh, uh, digital political campaigning, and also working with associations uh, on fundraising and support through their membership of your uh, campaign or candidate. <clears throat> okay, uh, online fundraising today has become really synonymous with uh, small don donors. However, this isn't all bad. A campaign benefits uh, immensely from individual donations um, that are uh, done uh, online rather than uh, paper checks. Uh, the money collected visa, um, excuse me, via uh, credit cards uh, is um, available instantaneously and allows uh, the candidate our campaign to uh, take immediate advantage of uh, maybe an overnight uh, surge in, in income. So, it, so the, uh, the rapidity of, uh, of online uh, fundraising uh, is, is really a, a nice uh, attribute over the uh, uh, paper check. Okay, but you, uh, also paper checks, they present a logis logistical burden. Somebody has to make a deposit and make sure that the money is, is uh, accounted for. Um, online uh, contributions, conversely, they prevent a, a very, very quick, seamless uh, digital uh, record. And now the thing is, most um, donors who like to max out or reach their quota with how much they can donate to, to the campaign, they would rather do that with a single check. So you have to be mindful of that. Uh, but um, online, uh, smaller online donors, they can contribute uh, repeatedly until they max out. Okay, uh, in terms of where we're at, when we're talking about small donors, small online donors, uh, let's take a look uh, at uh, the 2016 uh, cycle, uh, the primaries. Bernie Sanders, Ben Carson, Carly Fiorina, uh, Donald Trump and Rand Paul, they were the leaders in raising money from small uh, donors uh, online. Uh, Bernie was 77% was uh, s small donors. Um, Trump 70, uh, Ben Carson 63, Rand Paul 58, and Carly Fiorina uh, 47%. So that's, uh, that was the, the uh, universe of small donors in uh, the 2016 uh, cycle. Okay, now in the readings, I want you to check this out. Uh, I have info on what to look for in terms of choosing online uh, fundraising platform uh, to, uh, to get the money and also to account for the money. Uh, but what, what is ideal, what you really should look for are uh, functions that um, automatically dovetail and merge uh, your fundraising information with other database uh, supporter and uh, volunteer uh, information. Okay, a, as we talked about a couple of modules back, e email has become, um, the, uh, the usage of email has become uh, the number one fundraising um, uh, vehicle. Uh, but it also remains uh, a, the uh, effective uh, way, uh, in addition to being the number one uh, usage for email is, is fundraising. It's uh, also a, a very, very um, effective. And it's become the, um, the biggest um, way to, uh, to, to raise money, uh, despite the growth of the social uh, n network tools. Uh, but the key here is the right message to the right audience and the right amount of contact, the minor, right amount of ask uh, for fundraising vis-a-vis uh, um, -vis email. Uh, so this is measured by, also we talked about in a uh, previous uh, module, data analytics, metrics, and uh, segmentation to monitor uh, the message and if it's enough or not enough uh, or the right amount, uh, etc. Okay, uh, mobile fundraise, fundraising. Cell phones are increasingly changing the, uh, uh, the fundraising uh, dynamic and uh, equation. Text to donate is a hugely uh, realistic and popular uh, option uh, for your uh, campaign. But here again, uh, um, back to emails and how, how it uh, um, affects uh, the, the cell phone usage. Um, half of emails that recipients get, they get they an open on on their cell phone. So many people are really uh, reluctant to to donate vis-a-vis -vis a 
email on a cell phone because it's, it's laborious, it's tedious. So there, there are functions out there uh, that's called the one-click donation uh, program. And these uh, are programs that store the, uh, the donor's credit card information and personal information for uh, later usage. So keep that in mind that uh, cell phones are a very, very popular way of opening emails. And if that's how you're approaching the, uh, the, uh, the fundraising ask, uh, make it as easy as possible for that uh, potential donor uh, to give um, his or her uh, money to the uh, campaign. Now, this is outside of the uh, text to donate, uh, which is, is really ideally the way to go um, with a uh, cell phone. Okay, social media fundraising. Now, we already talked about that uh, email is, is the, the go-to uh, vehicle now uh, for fundraising and it, it is its usage is mainly for uh, in campaigns for, for fundraising but don't don't ignore the social uh, tools of Facebook and and the Twitter because uh, it's easy to post an, a a fundraising appeal uh, on on a social media uh, tool as, as part of doing it on email if you're doing an email fundraiser just, just you know, apply it to the uh, uh, your uh, social media uh, channels. Okay, now here's here's where Facebook and Twitter are, are most helpful and most useful for um, uh, fundraising. That is, it, it creates a it sets a table. It creates a halo effect for getting your uh, potential donors and supporters fired up so that when they do receive an email ask, an email uh, solicitation for um, uh, to donate, they, they already have a really good feeling about and are fired up about the candidate or campaign. Now another um, online fundraising uh, um, device is a viral fundraising. This is peer-to-peer, -peer where you, a viral fundraising where you get an individual who's really fired up about the campaign to ask family, friends, associates to uh, also donate. And you can do this through, help them do this through an uh, a online toolkit that they can use to motivate others to give money. So the idea is if you already know somebody's invested in the um, campaign and the candidate by way of their own money, get them invested to reach out to uh, their, like I said, their family, friends, and associates. Okay, that's the uh, online fundraising portion of this uh, lecture, this talk. I'd like to shift now to how you can work with trade associations and membership groups to raise money and also uh, for candidate and campaign uh, uh, other means of support. Um, trade associations are uh, known by the IRS as 501c6. Uh, groups. That means they can engage in political activity, they can lobby, and they can uh, have uh, political um, leanings, and they can support uh, candidates. Now, 501c3s, they are charities. They cannot get involved with lobbying and the political support of, of issues or uh, campaigns. Uh, if, if they do so, they risk losing their uh, tax-exempt status. So remember, uh, trade associations are 501c6. Uh, groups uh, as classified by the IRS. So here's here's a couple of ways, several ways to um, reach out to associations and membership groups to help them with your campaign in terms of fundraising and other um, uh, campaign support. One, they can create a political political action committee, a PAC. Now, to raise money for a candidate campaign, the association has to form a PAC. This is the vehicle to uh, do financial contributions to uh, political candidates. Uh, and they can also have the PAC get involved with political and legislative uh, items too. Okay, associations can arrange uh, uh, events for uh, the members to meet candidates, uh, greet the candidates. They can host a legislative breakfast or a luncheon uh, where your candidate and um, can, can um, meet with their members and network and open up the lines of communications and talk about issues and the policy that uh, is important to the association. Uh, the association can, very importantly, endorse your candidate. This, this is huge. And then uh, lastly, uh, associations can organize, get out the vote, and voter registration programs and activities. Uh, many associations, especially if it's a statewide uh, race, uh, many associations, you know, have you know thousands, tens of thousands of members, and uh, 
where is a built-in uh, voter base, but also associations can help their members uh, register uh, to vote. So uh, keep that in mind uh, in, in terms of working with associations and membership groups. So that's uh, a quick review of the world of online fundraising and uh, working with associations and membership groups for fundraising and also other uh, support for the campaign or candidate. So we will uh, see you next week, and uh, until then, Thank you very much. Bye-bye.